Hey everybody, welcome to September 18, 2015, Friday, my name is Xenia, and I want to talk about probably, in my opinion, the two biggest announcements for uh, the Tokyo Game Show, in my opinion. So, we'll start with the first one, I want to talk about One Piece. So, One Piece Pirate Wars 3 came out not even a month ago, maybe it did, <laughs> maybe a month ago, and they already, well, for North America, they've already announced... The next One Piece game. So it's not Grand Adventure. It's not another Pirates Warrior. It's it's uh, not a Pirate Carnival. Or a Romance Dawn kind of sequel. Or any kind of sorts of it. So. This one. I don't know where it's being in the franchise. But this one is One Piece what was it again? One Piece Burning Blood. Sorry, that was a weird uh, way to say it. So, One Piece Burning Blood. I actually really like that name. It sounds really cool. Now, the burning part I get because Luffy, you know, is rubber and he could do his little whole Gear 4 thing now, I guess. Which I guess it's really cool and shit, but... But regardlessly... Uh, Burning Blood. It sounds cool. I mean, I think I saw... I can't remember if we saw gameplay of it, or I'm just thinking about Pirates Warrior 3. But, it looked really good. It looked really great. I gotta admit that. Um, a lot of you people, if you don't know about this game trailer or anything, please go look it up. It's really, really good. I'm, I'm actually pretty pumped about it, and... I think the last One Piece game I was really pumped about was... Uh, I don't remember what it was called. It, it was it was something, regardlessly. But uh, I'm also watching wrestling, which I'm trying to, you know, watch. Anyways, regardless of what's besides that, um, One Piece Burning Blood. It just sounds cool in general. It sounds cool. Trust me, it sounds cool. <laughs> I'm watching TV too. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm sorry. Not bored, but just trying to entertain myself because I just want to watch this for two for you Sunday or Monday, people. Anyways, the next thing I want to talk about is the biggest announcement. The biggest announcement for me and or the whole internet. They announced a new Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so... <sighs> Here we go. So, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue has Kingdom Hearts H. So Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance HD, which is not 3D, I guess. It's Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD, and uh, Kingdom Hearts X or Key back cover, and that's a Japanese game, I guess that's never fucking came over here. I guess. I guess it's like Kingdom Hearts Key Unchained, I guess. Which I've also never played either. And um Kingdom Hearts. This one's a nutshell. Or like a really tongue twister. Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Um uh, a fragmentally segment or some shit. I really don't know. It, it's something like that that I think it's supposed to connect the events of Kingdom Hearts 1 or fucking that's the, the 2% for 3. I really don't know. So whatever. It's I'm very excited for that. The announcement to PS4, now I can get for a lot of places in 3 users, they're pissed off. And they don't have a place for you. It's like, they've already been pumped up to get Kingdom Hearts 3 for PS4. Now I have to get the PS4 in, for sure to get the 2.8 version of HD Collection 2. I get that. So, oh, I don't even know if it said Remix in it. If I pay attention, I think it's just Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Yeah, I don't think the word Remix is in it. But, regardlessly, it's announced. I'm actually pretty excited about that. So, yeah. Sony has basically, like... All releases now for PlayStation 3 will be stopping. It's just go PlayStation 4 now. It's kind of sad. But, um, 
if anything, thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe below, because I really need to keep recording vlogs. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow, okay? Bye.